What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another one of Hondi's Beer Reviews, and today, I may just run a little long on time. I'm probably going to take advantage of the new 15 minutes on YouTube, because not only do I want to bring you the review itself, but I also want to give out some shout-outs and let you guys know what's the deal with all this. Um, also, today I'm doing something I, I, I've never really done, and that's uh, that I'm uploading this video in front of some other videos that I already have recorded. I have about six other, six, seven other reviews already recorded, and I always try to be linear about it, but I'm going to upload this ahead of those, not only because this was from an event that happened earlier this week and I just wanted to get it out there, but also because I'm going to be, with this video, I'm going to be uploading another video, which is going to be a special announcement video, just to let all my buddies on YouTube and all my subscribers and everybody know what's going on, because uh, my girl and I are going through some, uh, some... I don't want to say tough times, but we're going through some changes, we're going through some adversities, and our situation is going to be changing, and it's going to affect my output on YouTube, and just, you know, um, it's going to affect us as just as people, you know, so check out that video. It's nothing too drastic, but, you know, I may be gone for a while, I don't know what's going to happen, so just check that out. I'll be uploading that video back to back with this one. So, aside from all that, let's get to the beer and the story behind all this. Today's beer is called Ten Fee. From the Oscar Blues Brewery in Colorado. This is their Imperial Stout. And no, it's not 1050. It's 1050. So, 1050. See, I, even I do it. 1050. No, 1050. 1050. Imperial Stout. Um, actually won this at the raffle the other night because at my local Hurricane Wing. So, a place I talk about a lot because, you know, um, we've become really good friends with the man manager there, Howard. Really cool guy. He's the one who's turned that place into a craft beer haven. Um, so we go there and, and drink beer and hang out with them uh, often. But they had an Oscar Blues tasting earlier this week. The Tenth City was a raffle prize. But on tap, well, he keeps Dale's Pale Ale on tap. And y'all know Dale's. Dale's Pale Ale from Oscar Blues, yeah. Had Dale's Pale Ale on tap. Yeah. And, uh, Ooh, I want to crush it. We got the Old Chub. They also make the Old Chub. We had this on tap. This is uh, Oscar Blue Scottish style ale. Oh man, there we go. All right. Yeah, I didn't rock them while I was there the other night, so I might as well do it now. So they had the uh, Old Chub on tap. He had two special kegs. One of the Gordon Beer, which is Oscar Blues's Imperial Red IPA hybrid, and a special keg of the Gagna, Oscar Blues's newest beer, their Imperial IPA along with uh, the Mama's Lily Yell Pills, their Pilsner. I tried the Old Chub for the first time there, silky smooth, great Scottish ale, I really liked it. I tried their Mama's Lily Yellow Pills there for the first time, really good Pilsner, <coughs> although I, <coughs> I would have liked it to have been a little hoppier, but still, good stuff. And we had a good time, you know, had a lot of beer, had some Dubna on tap, that was really cool, and won me some 10 fitty. So before I get into the review for the 1050, I want to give a shout out to Howard for, you know, just for, for being so gracious and, and being so good to us and hooking me up with so much stuff. He's giving me so many beers and so much glassware. Check this out. Matter of fact, let me take a look at that. This is a schooner style glass. It's a Newcastle Summer Ale. I didn't even know there was a Newcastle Summer Ale. But now I have two Newcastle Summer Ale glasses. Thanks to my buddy Howard. So that was really cool. So shout out to Howard. Um, you know, he's, he's been doing his thing, and I wish him the best, um, even though we may be leaving the area. But we'll be coming back through for that. Shout out to Tim. Tim from J.J. Taylor, the local, uh, one of the local distributors, um, the non-Budweiser affiliated distributor. Shout out to Tim. He's the one that came through with the cases of this stuff. And a uh, cool guy, you know, thanks for uh, showing us so much love. And, of course, he's, he's big as far as, um, as helping the as far as helping the craft beer movement, because he's not a Budweiser drinker or a Miller Lite drinker, so God love him for it. So shout out to Tim, and shout out to my homegirl Kristen, the Vero Beach beer guru. Check out her blog, uh, beerambassador.blogspot.com. I'll put the link down here in the info box. Everybody was there that day. Everybody had a good time. We had a whole bunch of good beer, and I came home with some tan fitty. So, to the beer. You know what? I, I can't do it. Sorry. I feel like I'm going to crush them or something, so bear with me. I mean, I can only do it for so long. It feels goofy. Yeah. Having aluminum hanging around your neck just feels weird. Let's see. 
Alright. Fill it right there. I don't know if they're still in. Yeah, they're still in. Alright, cool. Anyways, so back to the tent city. I just had to kind of tell that story, get those shout outs out the way before I get to the beer review. If you're ever in the Vero Beach area, check out Hurricane Wings. They're right on US 1. How it'll take care of you. And, uh, you know, $2, you call it, it's on Monday and Friday. So, I mean, $2 craft beer, you can't beat that with a stick. Anyways, back to the 1050, which um, is not in season yet. This is Oscar Blue's fall seasonal, fall winter seasonal. Of course, it's an imperial stout, so it's something you want to drink when the weather's a little, uh, a little cooler. Uh, punching it up on beeradvocate.com. Overall, this thing gets an A out of 1,224 reviews. The bros, guys who run Beer Advocate, also give it an A, considered an outstanding beer. Of course, it's from Oscar Blues Gorilla Brewery in Colorado. It's categorized as a Russian Imperial Stout at 9.5 alcohol by volume. Um, so, not much else to say. Um, it's been kind of cold and rainy here today. It's uh, 8 o'clock at night. I think, you know, I've already eaten, so this is a perfect time for a 9% Russian Imperial Stout. Now, Usually with a Russian Imperial style, you want to go with something like a Snifter. Um, that kind of rounder, deeper style glass. It's a little more fitting with the style. Um, but in this case, I have to break out my Newcastle Summer Ale Schooner. So, you know, what the hell. I came home with all this on the same night. So I might as well try it out. Now, these beers are still a bit cold. I've had them out the fridge for about... Yeah, about 20 minutes. So, I don't know, they're probably about 50 degrees, maybe. A little warmer would be nice, but oh well. Just get right to it. An Imperial Stout in a can, and it looks like old used motor oil. I'm not going to get a lot of head, because this, this beer is too cold. And I apologize for that, but oh my goodness. Look at that. Yeah, I haven't had a real good Imperial Stout in a while. Um, I, I love... Oh, my. <laughs> the smells coming off this thing are amazing. Wow. I haven't had a good Imperial Stout in a while. I, I love these beers. These are great after-dinner beers, nightcap beers, cold-weather beer, dessert beer. You know what I mean? And, oh, man. This thing looks great. All right. This thing, again, this is... Take an old car, you know, just take, take an old car, take an old V8, okay? Change the oil, conventional, you know, throw some Valvoline in there, and then run that car for about 10,000 miles, then drain the oil. That's what this is. This is black as all hell, this is midnight, this is dirty, dirty motor oil with a dark khaki head. Had it been warmer, it would have given me more head. But, I mean, it looks really good. This is what an Imperial Stout is supposed to be. Mm. And the smells you get off of that. You're getting hints of licorice. You're getting hints of some brown sugar. You're getting hints of dark fruit like raisins and plums. Mm. It's, it's almost... There's almost a wine quality. Huh. And it's raining outside. There's almost a wine quality, like a port wine kind of sweetness to it. Again, that, that grape, that's that dark fruit. But yeah, this smells, this smells really good. So, I don't know what else to say here, except, uh, yeah. Howard, Timmy, Kristen, Al, Nicole. Uh, 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 oh, jeez, I hate it when that happens. Antonio, Christina, um, who else? Everybody else, everybody from Hurricanes, everybody from J.J. Taylor, everybody from Vero Beach, what the hell. Cheers. That's rich. The mouth feels not as heavy and as thick as you would expect. It's kind of a heavy medium, but there's just so much flavor. Oh, geez, wow. Dark fruits, roasted malt, hoppy bitterness towards the finish, just this thick coating texture. And it's really coming down on here. I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can, yeah, it's really pouring. 
Um, but I mean, this is just. This is just an amazing beer. Let this warm up. Let it build a little more carbonation. Because that's, you know, when it warms up, it releases that carbonation a little easier. And this would be an incredible beer. I'm going to have fun sipping on this tonight because I'm going to take this thing slow. The alcohol is very well hidden. You don't, you don't really notice up front the, uh, the 9.5% ABV. Matter of fact, I don't really catch it at all. I don't even feel that much warmth coming back up. It's just a tasty beer, man. And it is rich, but it's smooth. It's almost silky. You know, it's just roasted malt. It's that dark fruit. It's that licorice. It's all coming together, and there's just enough bitterness. Slightly faint, but just enough bitterness at the end just to kind of give you that little bite as you swallow. And it just leaves you with this rich dark taste in your mouth. It's, it's, it's exceptional. It really is. 1050 is a hell of a beer, and if anybody says that you can't get a good Imperial Stout in a can, tell them it's full of shit. That's all i got to say. So, that's it, guys. Let me get out of here, because I know I'm running long. Again, Hurricane Wings. It was a really cool night at the Oscar Blues tasting, so uh, good looks to them for putting it all together. I hope we can do more of that stuff. I hope I can be here for some of it. Uh, thanks to everybody on YouTube, all my viewers, you know, I'm at 400 and change now subscribers, so thanks to everybody who's been looking me up and checking me out, and uh, just stay tuned, there will be more. Not sure why, not sure how, but there will be more. So that's it, guys. I'm out of here. And yes, if I didn't say it before, I'll say it now. This is a glass full, exceptional Russian Imperial Stout. If you're a fan of the style, you need to track this down. You really do. Alright? And I have nothing else to say after that, so take care, guys. See you on the next one. Cheers.